So here we have some missing fraction problems, but we solve these in the same way that we solve missing number problems for whole numbers. So first we have 1 and 1 seventh minus something equals 2 thirds. So it's the second number in the subtraction or the subtrahend that's missing and that means that we still need to use subtraction to find our missing number. We need to work out 1 and 1 seventh minus 2 thirds. Now 1 and 1 seventh is the same as 8 sevenths because 1 times 7 is 7 plus 1 is 8 and the denominator stays the same when we change it to an improper fraction. But our denominators need to be the same before we can subtract. 7 isn't a multiple of 3, but the lowest common multiple of 3 and 7 is 21. So we can change 8 sevenths and 2 thirds into equivalent fractions which have a denominator of 21, because when our denominators are the same, we'll be able to subtract the fractions. Now, 7 times 3 is 21, and what we do to the denominator, we do to the numerator as well. 8 times 3 is 24. Now, 3 times 7 is 21, and 2 times 7 is 14. So, we can rewrite our question. Instead of 8 sevenths, we can write 24 over 21, and instead of subtracting 2 thirds, we can subtract 14 over 21. So now that we have a common denominator, we can subtract our fractions. The denominator stays the same in our answer, and 24 minus 14 is 10, so our missing fraction is 10 over 21. And that makes sense, because 1 and 1 seventh is the same as 8 sevenths, or 24 over 21, and 2 thirds is the same as 14 over 21. So if we have 24 over 21 and take away 10 over 21, we get 14 over 21 as our answer. Now we have something minus 3 eighths equals 5 sevenths. So this time it's the first number in our subtraction or the minuend which is missing. So we use the inverse operation, we use addition to find our missing number. Because remember, subtraction problems can be read backwards as addition problems. So we can work out 5 sevenths plus 3 eighths. But to add fractions, we need the denominators to be the same. Now the lowest common multiple of 7 and 8 is 56. So we can find equivalent fractions for 5 sevenths and 3 eighths, which both have a denominator of 56 because when the denominators are the same, we'll be able to add our fractions. Now, 7 times 8 is 56, and 5 times 8 is 40. 8 times 7 is 56, and 3 times 7 is 21. So, instead of 5 sevenths, we can write 40 over 56, and instead of adding 3 eighths, we can add 21 over 26, because that's equivalent, that's a fraction of the same size. So now the denominator stays the same in our answer, and 40 plus 21 is 61. So as an improper fraction, our answer, or our missing number, is 61 over 56. That's 1 and 5 over 56 as a mixed number because 1 times 56 is 56, and then we add 5 to get 61. Now we have 1 third plus something equals 1 and 1 fifth. So here we have a missing number addition, and whenever we have a missing number in an addition problem, we always use subtraction to find our missing number. So we need to work out 1 and 1 fifth which is the same as 6 fifths, and we need to subtract 1 third because we have a missing number addition. Now to subtract fractions, we need our denominators to be the same. The lowest common multiple of 5 and 3 is 15, so we can change 6 fifths and 1 third into fractions which have a denominator of 15. 
5 times 3 is 15, and 6 times 3 is 18. 3 times 5 is 15, and 1 times 5 is 5. So, we can rewrite our question. Instead of 6 fifths, we can write 18 fifteenths, because that's equivalent, and instead of subtracting 1 third, we can subtract 5 fifteenths. So now our denominators are the same. So the denominator stays the same in our answer. And 18 minus 5 is 13. So our missing fraction is 13 over 15. And that makes sense because remember, 1 third is 5 fifteenths. If we add 13 fifteenths, we get 18 fifteenths, which is the same as 6 fifths or 1 and 1 fifth.